Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we will be taking a look at the latest update to Android 14, and this is Android 14 Beta 4. Now, if I'm not mistaken, next month during August is when the official launch of Android 14 will be able to be pushed out. So this one should be the last beta. So next month during August, the next little update that I'll have for this phone over here is going to be the official launch and release of Android 14. So pretty much all we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you the differences uh, of what is new with Android 14 beta 4. But if you want to see the main video where I went from 13 to 14, you want to see everything initially that has changed. I'll place the first original video below this one inside of the description. And then from there, if you want to find all the rest of my videos, which is Android 14 beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, you'd be able to take a look at those as well. Now, the first one that I'll cover is going to be the Easter egg because a lot of people love playing with these Easter eggs. You go inside of the about phone, you take a look at the Android version, you tap on it a few times, it's going to pull something up. This one pulls up a little clock and so you have to put it at one o'clock because 1300 hours is one o'clock. So once you put it to one o'clock, it's going to unlock this right here, which is just a bunch of pictures and emojis and you press and hold, it's going to change it. Now with this one, it takes you to the screen and rather than you changing with the whole clock interface, all you have to do is press and hold on this little patch. And then you're going to see that these right here are stars and they start going super quick. This thing is vibrating or moving around. So it is shaking and it's also vibrating my phone. And what this is right here is a tiny little rocket ship. And what you have is little thrusters. And so you can thrust it. You can take a look, your, take a look at your velocity, take a look at your position. Now, what you want to do is uh, just to give you a little background on this one, just so you're not floating in space, you know, for, for hours and doing nothing. If you just go to the left, you're going to see that you're able to bring these numbers down your position all the way down to zero and zero. Now, once you go to zero and zero, then you're going to find a star. And then from there, you can find a whole bunch of solar systems and a whole bunch of cool things. Uh, you'd be able to take a look at other planets. You can crash into them. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do. So now all I got to do is actually move back this way because I went a little bit too far. Um, and then so you can see right here that I am. Oh, OK, here we go. We're getting closer, getting closer. Uh, so I think if I go down and then over a little bit, then I'll be able to find where I need to go. So I'm not going to show you exactly everything about this. I want you to also figure it out as well. But the biggest hint I'm going to give you is go to position zero, zero, play around, take a look. You can see orbiting lines and you can follow them to find other things. Uh, and then you're able to, you know, see, you know, the closest star right now is uh, Andromeda. And so you'd be able to find other things and planets. So yeah, definitely go have fun and play with this little Easter egg. Now heading over inside of the feedback application, there is something that I wanna show you inside of here. We're gonna take a look at the release notes just so you can see the exact date of when this one was launched. So this one is the beta four version released on July 11th. It's gonna give you the build number, security patch of July, 2023. This is gonna give you a little bit more details on beta four. You know, there's a lot of fixes and system performance improvements. Beta four also includes the first Android 14 beta build for the pixel fold and the pixel tablet so yes that is correct if you were to pull out your fold or if you have the pixel tablet and you head over inside of the google.com slash beta uh, what you're able to find is going to be this screen here you can see i'm already opted in for the pixel 7 pro i didn't opt in on the pixel 6a but on here i can opt in right now if i want go inside of the pixel fold for android 14 or for the pixel tablet you just go to opt in you you go through a couple different pages you go to accept and approve and okay and then you just basically search for an update on your phone and then now you have android 14. it's actually very very easy to do so yes now with this one one of the bigger changes is the addition of two more devices the pixel fold and the pixel tablet now scrolling down just a little bit further you can see the entire list of all the devices there again the addition of those additional two uh, and then when you scroll on down to there's general advisory is just talk about the stability you can also get uh, support and then down here these are the main top resolved issues but i will show you some of the different changes right after this as well too so they fixed a system issue that caused both notifications to stop appearing and quick settings tiles to stop working until the device was restarted they fixed a system issue that sometimes caused voice over ip apps to stop recording audio when the screen was locked or the app was put in the black in the background uh, fixed an issue where the tile of the 
currently playing song would abruptly disappear or be replaced with other information when transitioning a device from always on display mode to lock screen. Fixed an issue that sometimes prevented devices from cha charging or allowing a device to charge, but erroneously reported that there were issues with the connected charging cable or accessory. And then fixed a system issue that sometimes caused the Android system intelligence service to crash. So these were the main big ones that they have fixed. And, and yeah, so these were uh, developer reported issues. And so these were all, you know, fixed. So that's the great thing right there. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is some of the newer features some of the small little nuances and little baby changes. Now, one thing that they did add in and change is the ability, if you turned on the option to have different profiles, is now you're able to change what these little images look like. So it used to always be this little icon, little person. It, it doesn't really show anything other than just a color. It'd be blue, green, red, yellow. They all look the exact same, just a different color. What they added in with Android 14 is that now when you go inside of here, you're able to change if you wanted to have different little images. So over here, I can change one of these if I want them, you know, to kind of represent me or represent a, a son or daughter. You could take a picture if you would want to put in a, a, a customized photo or something from your gallery if you already have a really good image of you or the other person who would be using that other profile. But yeah, so now you're able to add in uh, more customized profile images rather than just having little colors. Now, if you find yourself not really needing a user, you can just turn this off. Uh, but yeah, if you ever wanna turn this on and maybe you didn't know you had it, just search for multiple users. You'll, you'll be able to find it here and then you can add in a couple different profiles. Now, this next one is mostly related to the tablet and as well as the Pixel Fold. But when you press and hold on an icon, it's gonna be more apparent that you're able to do split screen on an application. So over here as example, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna see a little split screen over here. It's gonna be a little icon. You know, you might not know exactly what it is. So what they did was it'll look like this. Now, if I went into the, the Android 14, you know, beta program over here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up on this side. So you see where widgets is at. So pretty much what's gonna happen is this little icon will sit right below or right above widgets. You're gonna still see the icon, but you're gonna have the word that says split screen. So again, even over here, if I was to press and hold, you know, I have the icon there. Over here, I don't have the icon. In order for you to get the icon, you have to go inside of recent apps and then it'll pull up. So for example, with recent apps, let's say that we go over here, um, with this one over here, it shows the icon and it says split screen. Well, that's what's gonna happen in this screen over here from the very get-go, you press and hold, it's gonna be over here mixed in with these with this icon of split screen along with the word split screen. So when it comes down over into the larger devices such as the Pixel Fold and the Pixel Tablet, that icon is gonna be very, very um, easy to differentiate and let you know, hey, you are now able to do split screen and it's just easier to see. Now this next one is very small, but I'm gonna show you with the Android 13 and Android 14. So if you go inside of your phone and you switch this over into the mute mode, and you know, in terms of, you know, if you want it vibrate or if you want it to uh, have the, the call volume, you will see that the icon has changed. So in past devices and in Android 14 beta three, it was the same little icon. It was a bell with the little line through it. And so they do match on you know each side. So basically when you, when you see it on the volume line over here and on the very top, they do match. So the new one is this one. It kind of looks like you know sound with a little line through it rather than having it be a little bell with a line through it. It's very small, but this is now the new icon. Now for this next one, I only just need to have this phone out here because you know I'm not gonna show it on Android 13, but one of the things you're able to do with this is your lock screen. Now there's a lot of really cool things that was changed with the lock screen when you're typing stuff in. So for example, you know if I was to type some stuff in here, you can see that they're coming in as different little icons and you don't even see what the numbers are. Previously, you would see a number and then it would go into a little black dot. See the number, go to a black dot. Now it's gonna show different little symbols uh, in, in, in the place of it and it's never gonna show the number, so it's very, very safe. So that one was already a part of Android 14, but what this one does now is if you use six digits or more, it will auto unlock. So when you go inside of your settings, I'm just gonna show you how you can do this. When you go down and you head inside of security and privacy, if you go inside of your device unlock and you have your pin set up. Now over here, 
you can see the auto confirm unlock. That's only if you use six digits or more. I have this one turned on. Yes, it could be a little less security because once it's typed in correctly, it unlocks, but you are now using six digits instead of four. Most people that I know, I believe would probably use four. It's gonna stay locked until you hit the enter button. But if you use six or more, it will now be able to do auto confirm unlock, go straight into it. And right here, uh, let's see here, enhanced pins privacy. This is what I was talking about from before. It's going to disable all those animations when you enter in your pin, meaning like it's gonna show those numbers and such. So this is just hiding every single thing. So this is everything now on the lock screen. Now, if you already have a four digit pin, just go inside of here and all you have to do is type in that pin. And again, you do have to hit that enter button. But when you go back in the pin, if you put it as four digits, you know, it's just gonna have to hit on the enter button. But if you do go through and you type in six, you're gonna see this option right here, auto confirm correct pin. So you can have this one checked or unchecked when you hit the next button again, and then you type it back in. Now you can just confirm it. And so now that's how you can unlock your phone and have it come automatically rather than hitting the edit button or the enter button. You just have to make sure it's six pin or six digits or more. Now, last up, if you go inside of your about phone and then you hit on model, what is now added in is the manufactured date. So originally this was not even here as an option. It always had the model, the serial number and the hardware version. But now with Android 14 beta four, they added in the manufactured year. So if you're ever curious on when this phone was manufactured, now you don't have to, you know, guess and worry. So that was everything that I found that was brand new on Android 14 beta four. Again, one of the biggest things is you can now enter in your pixel fold or pixel tablet. If you would like, you will also uh, have that, that brand new Easter egg mini game. You'll also be able to have the ability of changing your pictures for different profiles. And for some people that's kind of a big deal. And the other bigger one that I think is the auto confirm unlock if you use six pins or more or six digits or more. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <music>